Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Cliptic Spiritualist channel. I'm Ranita. It is Full Moon in Taurus Tuesday. Full Moon in Taurus Tuesday. It has gone into full moon mode at 8.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check your local listing of the time in which the full moon will be at 100%. Did you look at the video? It's up. Check it out. We've got our rituals, we got our intentions, and we got the astrological forecast that is included with it as well. So let's get into today's Daily Fresh Tarot card reading, and I'll give you a little bit more piece PSAs that are coming as well. So um, let's dig in. Drum roll, please. Dun, 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 dun. Now, we have got the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Wands as our card for today, and in reverse... And we have the Empress. We have the Empress as our clarifier. Now, as you know, let me welcome new subscribers. Welcome to the family. I hope you click that wiggly bell with the lines around it so that you can get the daily fresh tarot card reading. Hello, uh, Spirit Tribe as well and newbies. Now, we let me give an update. Um, I'm Ranita, the Ecliptic Spiritualist. Welcome to the channel. Um, these cards that we use on a daily basis are the right of weight cards. I am very consistent with um, using the right of weight so that you can become more familiar with the cards, what they what they look like, and, you, and you'll be able to follow along and see how everything resonates with you and align with you throughout the week. If you see the consistency of the cards, you'll be like, oh, I know, I kind of got an idea of what that card is. And then it become um, it'll re start to resonate with you and you'll become more familiar and understand a little bit of the divination system of cartilage. Now, before I start the readings of the day, I do I do words spoken. I sit and I pray. I'm in my altar, um, my prayer space. I cover the YouTube channel, the family here, and much, much more goes into the investment of this channel. It comes on a daily basis, fresh not pre-recorded at all. But we do only use the right away as far as in the readings on a daily basis. And that's what the name of these are. The right, of, the right away cartilage, which is the right away tarot divin divination system. Okay, so now with the Ten of Wands in reverse, you are um, doing, <laughs> you're doing um, a whole lot. Okay, you're doing so much. And trying to do it all, you know, and at some at the times that you're doing all of this, you're missing some key steps as well. So as you're doing a whole lot, you're missing steps and overlooking issues and making mistakes also because you have taken on too much. As they say sometimes, doing the most. <laughs> you're doing the most right now, okay? And it's causing you to make mistakes, overlooking things, um, you know, cramming things into your emails. And this could be work-related as well as home-based budgets and so much more because you've taken on so much and it's causing a lot of uh, sleepless nights and just doing the most, so to speak. And you're just overlooking and just taking on so much. But as the Empress card come in as I clarifier. Um, the Empress is saying you need to delegate and release so that you are making room for new a new wave to come in. You know, you want to make room for the new wave to come in so that way you're not so overloaded that you can't see all of the things that's coming in. Now, at the same time, when you're overloading yourself, you know, sometimes with some some of our personalities, you know, we feel like that nobody can do it better than us. I know that's how some of us are, right? Comment down below with an emoji. Some of us are like, I can do it. I don't need all those mistakes. But at the same time, with checks and balances, you have to balance out things so that you are not making um certain mistakes that you normally do not do, all right? And don't worry about um, also what the divine and angels are saying is perfection. You know, there's no such thing as perfection or um, 
um, practice makes perfect is practice makes improvement. Okay. So when you balance in some things and start dropping, letting go of some of these responsibilities, you won't have so many mistakes or feel so overloaded. All right. So go on and delegate, delegate in the work environment, delegate at home as well. You know, release some of these responsibilities, you know, set up, um, set up some boundaries, you know, please go on and set up and set up boundaries. Um, the goddess Eshtar is, is coming through and, and, and she's one of the areas that you can, you, one of the goddesses that you can call upon and that's I S H T A R. I hope I'm spelling that right because she's showing me herself, um, that she always comes in to help with, uh, establishing boundaries, you know, and this is a very important aspect that we all need, ladies and gentlemen. So it doesn't mean it's, it's for ladies as well. We have a fem feminine and male energy in both of us as balanced. So as, as a human being, as an earthling, so you want to do what? Delegate and set boundaries, you know, don't take on so much. All right. Delegate do what? Set boundaries. And that's the goddess Esther wants to come in and share that with you. And you can call upon her for assistance with delegating. She would, she truly appreciates that and like to teach you that aspect so that you don't have to feel like you just so overloaded all the time. All right. So today on the November the 12th, we have our full moon and and coming in in full effect and enjoy it. So today, Eastern Standard Time, as I was saying, it is at 8.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check your local listing. And it's at 19 degrees. All right. You can check how that goes astrologically. You know I like to tell all that great detail information because I am an astronomy buff. And that's astrology and astronomy. Astronomy is where you learn about the planets and the chemical balances and how everything goes. So Taurus represents the things we love, beauty, um, stability and practicality. The books, the books say the moon is in her acceleration in, in, in this sign. So Taurus is mostly as you mostly that you heard me say in last night's video, and if you haven't reviewed it, please check it out. You will hear me say she is to be what? Exalted, exalted. So she's in her exalted, exalted, Asian, Asian in this sign, you know, Taurus loves this in the moon. Okay. So the meaning that being second base is not for her. She likes to be in first base. All right. So you're going to have a vibration that's coming in with this full moon of sensualness, comfy, cozy, and you know, not feeling second best with a nice hot, hot cup of tea or a nice hot cup of coffee and just you know, in that environment of coziness, all right, and practicality. But if you overdo things in this right now with this full moon, um, you will engage a more challenging side of the sign of Taurus. Now, you know, the other side of Taurus, sorry, Taurus is, you know, I love y'all, <laughs> but we all have a yin and a yang, right? We all have a yin and a yang. So I do have to share the yin and the yang of Taurus. Sorry, Taurus, ladies and gentlemen, but let me give y'all the yin and the yang because we got both sides, you know. So the other side of Taurus is stubborn and possessive and slow, <laughs> slow to move and possibly a little bit on the stagnant side. You know, everything has two sides. You know, everything has two sides. And the full moon illuminate, illuminates the, all of the qualities, you know, the full moon il illuminates all all of the qualities that are presented in your life. So you will see things show up in your life during this full moon. All right. It shows us who we are and how we are using this Taurus traits in our own houses, in our own zodiac signs. I feel like I'm doing moon ritual and, and doing the moon ritual overview again. But this is a little bit more of a difference snippet because you know as the divine is giving it to me as I was getting this together today I was like oh they gave me some more about it okay so it it does show us both our traits during them all of the traits of Taurus in us 
uh, naturally as our zodiac sign or wherever Taurus is placed in our houses of our natal charts. And keep in mind that we do do natal charts, okay? And birth charts, which is natal charts, career charts, all of those things. So we do offer that. But maybe it will show you where you need to let go. Remember, that's part of our our goals and our intentions to do what? Let go of what you have been stubbornly holding on to. That can be something that you need to release and possibly illuminate your desires to be seen, paid attention, or to treat like royalty. That's a Taurus by your love or vice versa. Okay. So this is very important. I'm going to stop right there about the full moon because keep in mind that the written version is on the blog at Eclipse Spirits with 7 at blogspot.com. Okay. So I'm not going to continue to dive deep into that, but I do want to share with you the astrological other part is that Mars is sextile to Jupiter. This is such a positive energy. I love Jupiter. That is my planet for my zodiac sign. Love Jupiter. All right. I am a Sagittarius. I am a November, the earlier, the early part of Sagittarius. Okay. So in saying that, um, Jupiter brings in such a positive energy for actions and opportunities. So if you need a burst of energy, remember I was saying that on the moon rituals intention video last night, please check it out. Um, You'll get that nice burst, okay, today with come in throughout the week of completing projects you are working on, and then this transit is here to help you. It peaks in the middle of the day, so in the next few days coming up, there will be a very, very active energy around you. So take advantage of this um, if you're lacking in some areas that you need to put some attention to, all right? So that's Tuesday astrological forecast going on Mars sextile and what? Jupiter, okay? And we do have, you know, go to the blog, but we do have Jupiter coming into play the later part of this month, actually within next week. And then in about a week or so, we'll be moving into um, the new moon, the new moon. But right now we're in full moon. So keep in mind, to make sure that you take advantage of the full moon lunar cleanse that we are doing and the kit with the crystals that will cleanse your or balance you out from the past 28 days. It's very important to dive, e dive deep and to do this type of work so that you can stay healthy physically and spiritually. It is something that we should always do and intergrind into our magical practice. Cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. If it's not for yourself, you can do it for your children, your family, your partners. It's very important to do that, all right? So click that wiggly bell down below, ding, dong, ding, to make sure you're getting the daily fresh tarot card reading that comes to you on a daily basis. Don't forget that we offer intuitive readings that will change your what? Life. It will change your life and save your life. Get readings to understand more in depth. And it's a wonderful, loving experience. It's not creepy. It's not scary. None of that from me. Um, I am a devonair. Um, I'm a clairvoyant and a medium. I have um, had this particular gift for years. I'm a 20 plus, 20 plus um, experience plus through the downline of my family and much, much more. You know, just a, a side hack about me. Uh, one of my uh, book of shadows grimoires come from my great great grandmother. She was a in depth writer. You know, she was one of the first African Americans to graduate from an HBCU HBCU <laughs> in the U.S. And so, you know, she moved to Michigan, where I'm from, and married my great grandfather. And my this is from my great grandmother. So. I was passed down that particular book of shadows and I've revamped it, meaning I've put it in a PDF and everything to keep it in a safe place for my family so that they understand that this is part of our practice in our family. And the, just a side note as well, most people have a magical practice in some sort in their family history. You know, it may have been removed or uh, because there were systems put in place that you know, uh, cause people to, you know, bring harm to them practicing what is part of who they are. Okay. So, and on a side note, we do offer conjure work that will change your life as well in every single area of your life, because you need every single area of your life to be per 
be worked on in a in a way that you so desire. So don't forget we have the moon lunar release kit, which is the bath cleanse and the crystals, and there's some extra goodies that come along with that. Check the website. We also too have our go on and get in on our altar community altar candle unity service. That is about abundance, magnificent abundance and prosperity moving into this sextile of Jupiter energy and this Taurus moon. All right. And Mars. So that's go on and get your candles for that. We do it vibrationally together on our altar. You have you have to per intention. You buy a candle per intention. And that's eleven ninety nine. OK. Also, we have the um, we have those things coming up. Now, go on and get into that orders now. We also have our part two of our journal, journaling series that's coming up this week. So, we have a lot going on. We're getting into work. It's very important, magical practitioners. I love you for watching today. Have a great magical Tuesday, Tuesday. This full moon in Taurus. I love each and every one of you. Go on and do the ritual. Get everything set. Do the work so you can get the results. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.